Hello everyone, thanks for coming outside with me today. Quick thought here about shooting with a hinge, and more particular, shooting with a hinge for hunting. This is a question I seem to be getting more and more frequently as they kind of get into 3D archery and target archery in their spring and summer in their respective state. They're seeing a lot of guys like Levi Morgan, Chris B, uh, Jesse Broadwater, so on and so forth, and they're shooting with a hinge style release. And that brings up the question, can I hunt with it? The short answer is I will never recommend you hunt with a hinge. I will never hunt with a hinge. But this is an average Jack Archery video. It can't just be one minute long. So real quick, the way hinge systems work is very simple. You have a pivoting head with a uh, uh, hook on it, and then you have what's known as a moon on the inside, which of course is just shaped like a, uh, not a crescent moon, but the halfway, right? So a semicircle. And depending on the style of hinge, this is a Scott Ascent, so it has two moons, and one adjusts the time to click, and then the other from the click to it actually releasing. A lot of hinges just have one moon. Some of them have a safety. They're getting a lot of better, uh, but the problem with the hinge is that all it takes is one mental lap so you know you're coming to full draw or you're maybe you're right here and all it takes is for you just to pivot your hand just a little bit and then all of a sudden you're at full draw and you ruin it or even worse you get to like three quarter draw and then you smack this thing right into your mouth chip a couple of teeth send this flying or even worse let go of the release and send it into the back of the riser into your cable guard all sorts of horrifying things can happen with a handheld style release which is why in a nice controlled environment like a 3d shoot an indoor shoot here shooting in the backyard i can shoot a hinge all day i don't have a single problem with this i can pick this up I can draw, I can hold, I can make sure I have the appropriate pressure, I can let down, I can do all that sort of stuff. But in a hunting situation, how many times have you been caught drawing like right here? So many times I've been caught drawing like right here and with a handheld release, that is brutal, whether it's a thumb button or a hinge. But at least with a thumb button, you can at least sit there and hold it. With the hinge, you gotta keep that angle, you gotta keep that pressure so your hand doesn't rotate around and send that half drawn arrow down range somehow. So I absolutely love hinges for 3D and outdoor shoots, shooting around the backyard and particularly for indoor because you wanna have that in indoor situations, you're shooting 30, 60, 90 arrows back to back to back or over two or three three days and you need to make sure that every single shot is very consistent now you can still get consistency out of a thumb button or a wrist style release there are very high level archers like Tim Gillingham uh, Michael Braden they shoot an index style release and they are incredibly consistent they win a lot of money at indoor and 3d tournaments but for you and me the local backyard shooter this is great for consistency indoors and out in a tournament situation but for the hunting this will never ever see the woods. So if you want that feel of a hinge but you want the reliability of something that's not going to fly out of your hand, you have several options. Of course the biggest one being a thumb button of some sort. Personally I like a thumb button that is going to match the style of hinge that I'm going to shoot. So I like Scott releases, they just make really good high quality stuff right here in the United States. The Ascent hinge and the Pursuit thumb button are nearly identical in their ergonomics and size. Now this is stainless steel so it's got some heft to it. This is aluminum so it's a little bit lighter. But in terms of how it actually sits in my hand and the actual feel of everything, this Scott Pursuit thumb button is almost identical as to how I can execute it. Except instead of just kind of adding that rotation or kind of relaxing, I actually do have to activate the thumb. But this with a wrist release, or wrist strap rather, means I can actually just keep it on my person. Now you'll sometimes see guys with a thumb button, uh, they'll be sitting up 20 feet out of a tree, and then they will uh, then attach their uh, claw of their thumb button to their D loop and they'll just let it sit there and hang on the tree so you know they won't have the uh, wrist strap they'll just clip that on they'll just leave that hang and put the bow on the hook although however it takes is just for you to grab this and then all of a sudden it falls 20 feet to the forest floor and that's not without the realm of possibilities actually if you watch enough hunting shows they often have bloopers of guys doing that with their thumb button so for me i would just like to hook it up just like any standard uh caliper style release i can leave that jaw set i can have the click and you notice that's not flopping around it's not clicking as soon as i see a deer i can just use my two fingers here 
and I can just clip that on. I do have to look, which is the downside of a caliper like this, unlike an open style hook. I personally like the Scott Ghost. I'll pull it out here in a second. It's my favorite uh, index style release because it's an open hook. Uh, I think Truefire makes a couple, and of course Trueball does as well. Those are your most uh, common companies. You can just hook right in without actually having to look. This one you kind of do, just have to take a peek down just like that, click it over and it's ready to go and you can execute a shot. The nice part again, in a situation like this is that if I get caught halfway here, I can hold this and I can rotate my hand all I want. Now this isn't ideal, right? Obviously you'd want to either let down uh, and of course I can let down and let go if I need to with a thumb button uh, or I can actually come to full draw. So let's uh, set this up again. You know, I get caught halfway through. Ah, crap, well, I better execute the rest of it. And now I can sit here. And if you shoot a good bow that has a, a good back wall to it, like this Elite Result here, any of the Elite bows, uh, you can either come off of the wall nice and steady, just like that, or you can stay back here and actually execute the shot. And actually, if you get a thumb button that's very similar to your hinge in style and how you anchor, I can take this bow, even though it's a target bow and it's a pretty blue, and the anchor that I use for my hinge I can use the same anchor system and the peep is in the exact same place. And I can actually execute an exact same shot with a release that I would take into the woods. I'll happily take a thumb button into the woods. It's not my favorite, but I would take a thumb button. Actually, it's kind of my plan for this fall is to take this bow out. Even though it's blue and it's a target setup, I actually kind of really want to take it out and see if I can harvest the deer with it. I kind of have a rule that I don't get to retire a bow or make it just a target setup or a backup setup unless I've actually killed something with it. So I have this bow and my Victory 39, also from Elite, are the only two bows sitting on my wall that I have not killed a deer with. Uh, so uh, this one and that other target, Victory 39, are up to bat this fall. Might as well give it a shot. And going from a hinge to a thumb button, it's keeping in the same brand, same ergonomics, so on and so forth. I don't have to change my tune, I don't have to change my anchor, I don't have to change anything. Sounds like a winner, winner chicken dinner to me. So anyway, that's all for this video. If you have any questions on taking a hinge out in the woods or just shooting a hinge in general, follow the links in the description below. Hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, send me an email, or even leave a comment here for everybody on YouTube. Hope you're able to get outside, enjoy the sport of archery, archery hunting if you so choose. Definitely enjoy God's beautiful creation, and we'll get to see you next time.